It's a really exciting course. It's extremely spectator friendly. I think it's going to be really fun to watch on um, on the cobbled climb they have there. It's got like three or four switchbacks, and the cobbles are pretty rough. It's it's cool. Um, it's going to be a big fight for for a position. Um, I think that we'll be able to put a pretty good team together for the race next year with maybe Ferrar and Finney. Um, I think it really suits Finney, and it'd be nice to build a team around him. Um, I definitely hope to be there. I think we get nine starters because it's in our country, so um, that's also nice. Um, be a chance to race in front of my friends and family in a, in a big race and kind of help them understand what I'm doing around the world all the time. And one of the biggest races in the world, an hour from my home, is pretty exciting. Um, the course is it's technical. It's a lot of a lot of roads in the cities, but um, hopefully they'll be. Hopefully we'll be safe. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be, it may not be as predictable as people think. A lot of time the championship events are race kind of, they're really aggressive, but everyone's racing kind of negatively. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. The climbs and the technicality of the race could suit a, a late race breakaway. Um, at the top of the last climb, there's it's 3k to the finish, and there's no descent, so you get a big roller off the front. He may not come back. And um, the cobbled climb is that one that was used in that race they had? I don't know how many years ago. The one that uh, Spain topped one. Do you know? Or is, is... I don't think it was. There's a number of them. It's a uh, steep climb that comes okay. off of the off of the river, um, James River, right there. So you've got a nice view of the entire city from the top of the hill. So.